There we go. Lost and alone and so misunderstood. It things seems the thing she that the uh, the thing that she loved to do had done her in good. The shock of what had happened lasted year after year, and so her family did everything to make her appear. You has to bed. All right, good night, Loki. Thank you for showing up to my streams. I, I know this has been awesome, but I am going to put this all on YouTube's, and I promise not to speak uh, sing. The entire time. Oh, I'm also needing to bed. I'm starting to tired. Good night. Whoa. 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 She's got personality. Nick's Philhart. So, after you've drawn from uh, the encounter deck... If what you draw is a monster, pick from the monster deck, and then you can choose... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I threw up a little in my mouth. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying, going for sexy... I was going for sexy Rick, and it didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, oh that hurt. Oh, stomach acid. Let's just... Let's just go normal. <laughs> Let's just go normal. But holy hell, what a hottie. So, where the fuck was I? Um, so after you've drawn from the encounter deck, if what you draw is a monster, pick from the monster deck. Then you can choose to fight or flee. If you fight, compare your player's card's ferocity stat with the monster's and add a d6 to both stats to determine whether you win or lose. If you want to flee, it's the same process with the liquidity stat. I can actually work that out in my head. I've My forbidden project is an RPG, so it's starting to make sense to me. Once you've returned to the village board, you can add your successful forging tokens to the village stockpile. Whatever team successfully builds their village first wins... Or whatever team villages runs out of food, material, or population resources loses. Fun board game. Oh! Oh! I'm assuming it is 1935. And do I have to go by my in-game name too? Couldn't hurt. They must be talking about some sort of board game. Never played one before. Not many places to put the board when you're off dancing in the woods with nothing but a smile on. And boots. And a choker. And rain. Lots of rain. And nowhere to keep the pieces. <laughs> hey! It's What's-Her-Face, the cutesy one. Hey! It's, uh, Thirst... Hey, it's Bob's office. Staff are encouraged to only disturb Bob on matters of immediate security or apocalyptic concern. Students are encouraged to go away. I'm just looking around, man. Is there anything hidden in the background? I don't think so. Oh, I can click on myself. I can get my assignments through that door. I should check it out when I'm ready for a new job. I've been... Wait. Have I been able to click on myself this entire time? Hang on a second. We gotta go back. The Ethereum is in there. With that big talking goo monster. Maybe I should go say hi. Okay, yeah, no. We're not... We're, we'll, we'll walk through it all. We're just we're doing backtracking. This is the entrance to the Corporeum. Where Mary Peanut Butter and Eddie do all their crazy bullshit. I wonder if they're working on something. There we go, occult science entrance. This is the way out of the occult science building on the campus. Better stay in my jurisdiction for now. This is, this is all news to me. Looks like the entrance to the library. Probably be hanging around, be hanging out here a lot. Uh, 
I should look around, meet some folks, get the lay of the land and all that. I'm going to be working here for a while. All right, now we have to backtrack back to where we started or ended. <coughs> Damn, that last burp really hurt. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack, gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack, or and or and or again. Here we are. Ooh. <laughs> Arms like noodles. Do those worm things act as your arms? That's pretty groovy. Yep. The, th <laughs> the thing to remember about all these occult shenanigans is that most of these monsters are really just really, really ugly animals. And animals can be trained. Cool. How do you train them? Traditionally, a combination of treats and mild punishment. As a treat, I let them keep my arms. <sighs> Oof. As punishment, I headbutt the shit out of them. Now they never leave mommy's side. Don't even have to command them for the easy stuff. What counts as easy stuff? When training floating worms to act as replacement arms. Oh, you know, cooking, cleaning, getting changed, all the essentials. You should see me play the trombone. I'm, I'm, hang on a second, because I just realized that these aren't sleeves with worms in the end. These are two floating worms, and that is her hair behind the missing arms. There is some serious fetish stuff going on right here. <laughs> huh. Well, let's go up for more worming goodness, I guess. So, what's with folks changing their names for the board game people that they're talking about? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. 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 Hmm. 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 Huh. Can I go back? Shit. of the game more real. A lot of people need an escape from work or their studies, and the game is a good way to do that. Huh. You think I could play with you guys when I've got some time off or whatever? Her mom? I don't know. Like, I mean, this is Camilla, and if you've read the story, if you've read the final part, you know that her hair was originally brown, but hmm. Hmm. Depends on what you're in games gonna be in game names gonna be hmm thrust powerful badass barbarian saving sick winches or whatever hmm 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 nope just really her name's Manny's Manny's Ember Star that's an awesome name bye better than everyone else's dumbass names whatever Who'd want to play a game where Thrust Powerful, the badass barbarian, sounds non-canon anyway? <laughs> hey, you got the gummy there. For, forget his comment. What, what, pronounce this. Help me pronounce this. Varlam Nikitovich. Nik Nikitovich. 
Margolin. So we have Slavic Russian Celtic. We have a Slavic Russian Celtic name here. There are several benefits to having everything internal organs replaced by half sentient liquid slurry. For example, you wouldn't believe how much of your brain is dedicated to simply maintaining the automatic processes of your body. With the slime, my brain is now free to ponder the question of the universe. <laughs> Nathan Swan. Forget hygiene. You're at the Miskatonic. If you are only training black slime, you're practically cleaning up. The, or if you're only trailing black black slime, you're practically cleaning up the place. Nothing gets an occult scientist down, I guess. Though, wouldn't his brain also be replaced by the goo? Okay, so you, I haven't clicked on you yet. They're just these two. I didn't realize this was even a second one. But yeah, there's a slight gap in between these. Oh, there's a gap between everybody. Huh. This is damn fun. The geography building is probably the least dangerous lesson on campus, but also has the highest security. Can't have the public figuring out where the plateau of Lang is, or worth relay. Well, it's just north of Australia. Why not? You know how some people can't help but get close, as they can to scenes or car of a car crash? Imagine that car being a centralized supernatural apocalypse based on the Pacific Ocean. Folks would climb over each other to check that out. Yeah, I guess. I bet it looks pretty radical. Well, it's time to check out Bob's office. You know, I feel like saving here. I don't even remember what accent I had for this guy. Good evening, Charlotte. Are you ready for your first assignment? Sure, lay it on me. Excellent. The Miskatonic has small research outposts located all over the world, dedicated to collecting and relaying occult data back to the university via radio. One such outpost is New Orleans, where you'll be going. Okay, what happened in New Orleans? What happened in New Orleans? Bleh. We're not sure. Our researchers are supposed to relay the daily radio message back to us, but hasn't checked in for several days. Your task is to go to the outposts and knock on the door. If there, if he's there, ask why he hasn't been relaying data. If he's not, return and tell us. That's it? Knock on the door? Exactly. Under no circumstances are you to enter the outpost. Just knock and leave. Um, okay, so how do I get there? After a few, well, disasters, the government demanded that the Miskatonic experiments be completely sealed off from the outside world. As a result, every outpost in the country is interconnected by these tunnels. Help stop transporting creatures running off into the wilderness, see? Spooky. So, I'm walking to New Orleans? Oh, no, of course not. You'll have a driver. Hi! Oh, hey, Lizzie. Looks like driving down this spooky tunnel, a spooky ass tunnel system to look at. We're, we're driving down this system together. Yeesh. New Orleans is not far in a straight line. Should get get us there lickety split. Have fun, you two. You two. T W O. Have fun, you T W O. You two. You two. No, I'm not gonna fucking let this go. Have fun, you two. Is different. 
we're we're not this we're we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and i don't care all right i don't care we're gonna do this right here and now this is unacceptable unacceptable devs are you watching fix this have fun you t-w-o you too the number two not you too all right just mmm 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 no 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 not 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 okay not okay Moving this down a little bit, but that's not okay. <sighs> and remember, don't go into the outpost. Okay. See you later, Johnny. We're going into the outpost. <laughs> I guess this is the place. Huh. That's weird. The door is open. So? Well, the mission is to knock on the door, see if, and see if anyone's in, and then leave. If the door is open, something bad might have happened. Like what? I, I don't know. Could be anything. Maybe they're out of banana bread. Maybe someone's pregnant and they've gone to get a doctor. Maybe Cthulhu cultists have invaded to have a sick hoedown. Maybe they're pregnant with a Cthulhu cultist banana bread baby. We should check it out. Supposed to be authomorized to go into the outpost. Dunnichers and witches are for knocking on doors, not poking around outposts. Come on. We'll be, you know, show initiative. They'll be like, wow, Lizzie and Charlotte, you sure saved the day poking around that in that outpost. Good thing you did all those chupacabras would have gotten back home base and ate all of us. I don't think that's what they'll say. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a look anyway. Feel free to join me if you want to save the university from chupacabras. <laughs> Guess I'll be okay if we just look. <laughs> Fear the goo. I'm sorry. In the other room, I just heard my wife say, you put the dragon dildo down. And I kind of wish I was part of that conversation, but I'm glad we're here. <laughs> New Orleans Outpost. Initially, the outposts were each equipped with long-range radio systems, able to communicate with each other, stave off lonely, to stave off the loneliness. Good for morale, until the Australian outpost incident broadcasted the screaming of an entire country on all frequencies. Now the outposts can only communicate with the Miskatonic hub. Can't hear each other. Good for morale. <laughs> I better sweep this whole room before we move on. That's the detective thing to do. I don't know what this dot, what this button is. Fear the goo. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's this? Huh? Fear the goo. Written also in goo. What goo should I be fearing? Should I fear the the goo? Fear the goo sign is written in? Oh, I should I fear the goo? The goo fear the goo the goo oh man, let me try should I fear the goo in the fear the goo sign is written in? There's no good way to read this sentence. Also it looks like I'm censoring her crotch, which is I don't know if I agree with that, because I could be missing out on a, on a prime panty shot there. Maybe it's peanut butter. Humans are largic, right? Only the ones who have delicateness. Hmm, nope. I think this is the warning about the same goo it's written in. Can't be that dangerous, then, if the warner preferred using it over, you know, a pen. 
Maybe he has no pen. Maybe his pen is goo. Maybe that's why he's so afraidy. Because of pen goo. Guess there's only one way to find out. Let's just keep going. Detective thing. The goo room. There's a lot of it. That's a lot of goo. Extraction here. Yeah. Peen goo. Extraction facility. Initially, we thought the signs of were overkill. The Miskatonic already being notorious for its retentive re 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 approach to the supernatural. Alas, for several decades and several thousand casualties, we've learned that the most dangerous thing in our in our work was our wandering mind. Huh. I, I can't go back. I can't go back. I can only click on this. Hmm. Shit balls. The doors are locked. So? So there might be goodies inside. Elvish goodies. Look, it says there, extraction facility. This must be where they're getting the goo. We gotta get in there. But why? Because if somebody tells me to fear something, I like to know exactly where that something comes from and how to punch what, whatever made it into its head. Whoops a mass. Besides, it sounds exactly like something that the hottest new occult detective team in New Orleans would do, right? Solving some sick mysteries. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot to look at here. Little Yach Nathi. They were allowed a small number of personal effects on the site. Easier to just let them have their little trinkets than enforce con contraband rules and the oca occasional knife in the gut. For a supervisor who's seen an affordable seen as an affordable expense. Oh man. Oof. Sorry if there's been some, uh, I am having some serious issues with, uh, streaming. And I don't know why. I'm sure the lag is pretty intense. Sorry about that. Well, it'll just be me and you, YouTube. Me and you. We gotta check out this chair. This is a fine chair. Hmm. Some sort of manifesto. April 9th. One half a gallon. His name was Daniel. April 10th, two gallon. Told me to give her a locket to her lover. <coughs> April 11th, one gallon. He was still alive. What have I done? Well, I'm sorry, what have I done? It's not a question, it's a statement. What have I done? And then it stops. Huh. Let's try over here. Looks like a syringe. That, that's a beefy needle hole thing, too. There should be a comma in there. This goo is either going into something or coming out of something. Either way, it looks like it hurt like hell. Hmm. What about the wall here? Looks like a poster of Innsmouth, home of the Deep Ones. Maybe that's where whoever lived here was from. What's a deep one? They were a race of fishy frog folk that lived in this underwater city off the coast of Innsmouth. In exchange for plentiful fish and crabbing season, they would mate with the local Innsmouth babes and create little baby hybrids. Apparently it was a pretty sweet deal until someone wandering douchebag came through the town and ruined it. Went and told the government, and they torpedoed the underwater city, and rounded up on sending them to concentration camps and whatnot. This is this is actually what happened in the story. This is what actually happened in the story. 
Kind of sad, really. I hear the little hybrid tadpoles are adorable. I guess that just leaves this. Huh. Looks like a diary. Each, each night, my darling wife, hidden deep in the back room of the or Orlinsian brothel, prays to her goddess, Shub Niggeroth. TM. Keeping the faith, Ruby. That we might find a new home. That I might find work much less dreadful. She is becoming too large to inconvenience, inconveniently lie that she is carrying a human child. So we must gather our pennies and leave soon. Huh. It's a little photo. Aww. Aww, look at her. So pretty. So full of tadpoles. And he's kind of handsome in that, you know, amphibious way. Aww. Why is that aww? Why is that not you? All the storybooks say that there's no purer love than between a girl and a frog. <laughs> what? April 12th, 1936. Hey, that's yesterday. A new prisoner was delivered for ooze extraction, but he claims he was a riverboat captain with a ship that sails up and down the Mississippi River. He claims that there is a deep one refuge situated in the Minnesota, where my people live and thrive, hidden from the university's horrific testing and the government's terrible camps. I shall rescue my beloved tonight under cover of darkness, and we three shall make for Minnesota. I'll miss the radio call in, and they shall send someone to investigate my squalid concrete prison. But we shall not be gone long. Huh. Looks like the university was keeping this fellow against his will, using him to extract goo from folk. But why? Maybe we should ask him. No way. If the university is as evil as this guy says we are, we best keep our mouths shut and do a little independent investigation. We gotta find out what this goo is, and what they're using it for, and why they're being such bastards. Holding cell. Not for holding delicious pastures. I better sweep the whole room. Detective thing. You know. Huh. I guess we'll check the holding cell. Uh, every outpost, no matter how small, no matter what research it houses, had to have a holding cell. The topics we study at the Miskatonic have an alarming rate of contagion. Like donuts. Delicious pastries. I fully agree and endorse the sale of more donuts. <laughs> this, this thing is turning me into more Texan than I already am. Blech. Fucking shit on my... <laughs> Goddamn. Fucking shit on my dick. Another goddamn locked door. Why well, stop there? You could keep, keep the profanities rolling, man. You look angrier than you should be. Sorry, the concept of, you know, privacy makes witches a little testy. Whatever, let's find ourselves some keys to F these locks up. Yeah, she's mad. I have questions. I am vaguely sure we're looking at Loli here. This looks more lowly than usual. Little Yathni. The Deep Ones could be manipulated in a way humans couldn't. They had what the brains called a deeper emotional intelligence than us. They would cry at the simple concept of tragedy, so to threaten them with their own was a viciously effective. Monogamy Madness. Deep, dead Randy. Ten cents. 
What in holy hell's bell is happening here? What the fuck? Are those super rare dead Randy monogamy art covers? How do they get these? These are ultra banned all across America. I, I gotta get, I gotta take these. What, what? Dead Randy is the sexy necromancer. It's this cute little incubus that runs around saving zombie girls after the world ends. And then Bonnie's them. Bo Bonnie, Bonin's them. Bon, Bonin's them. Bonin's, Bonin's. Hey, I got a little bit of a panty shot right there. <laughs> this story arc was written by my first coven den mother, Agnes D. Williker. <laughs> It's a story of how the succubus girl, this purple girl here, wants dead Randy all to herself. But Willie there, all mutual dead Randy, gets sad and he's not boning mad dames. And him and the succubus girl learn that love should be shared with everyone, not saved for individuals. It's adorable. Why'd humans ban it? Ah, uh, same reason they ban everything. Folks get, folks were getting too cheerful, promoting cultist ideology. They said, "Not sure how to love everyone. You, not sure how love everyone you can and don't be a douche is considered the same as you know. Let's get Cthulhu to f up the world, but whatever. Plus, I guess Dead Randy is pretty rampant in the series. Hard to get that love everyone message across this in a story without a, about a nymphomaniacal blue midget without getting, you know, vigorous. But the message was so awesome. Completely true to our cult mantra. And everyone in Chess, Chess and Cook tonight uh, thought us witches were pretty groovy after these stories came out. Preach love and compassion for the universe offers neither. They put that as our town motto after Miss Agnes wrote this series. Come on, he's got to have the hard copy somewhere. The girls in the coven will shit their minds when they hear what I found. What? <laughs> Seriously, what? Sexy times, yeah. <laughs> I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Dead Randy, sexy, the sexy necromancer, Harmony Arc, Episode 1. Death of a Deviant. Once again, Dead Randy finds himself expelled from the Incubus Academy of Hell for, fallen, for failing the not-looking-like-a-tiny-idiot portion of the class. However, exiled, Randy seeks refuge in a desolate earth destroyed by a mysterious plague that leaves the land barren in all but zombies. Using his powers of necromancy, dead Randy cobbles together another village made of bones and sinew, drawing zombies from all over the wasteland looking for a place to live. Or die in this case. Unlive. Once populated, Randy affectionately names his new town the Bone Zone. Aw, yeah. I peeked a, I peek a few cute zombie girls in the Shambling Horde. One with a ticket to a bone, the Bone Zone. Ah, woof. I guess... I guess she's been dis disarmed after she was defeated. Dead Randy, the Sexy Necromancer, Harmony Arc, Episode 2, Damsel in Decay. With the Bone Zone complete, the zombie villagers settled. Dead Randy enjoys a life of carnal luxury, but with the hordes of zombies and come their ar arch enemies, the only living creatures left on Earth. That's right, a pack of them feral uh, Pomeranians are attacking the villagers of the Bone Zone. And when one of his lovely consorts is dragged away, it's up to dead Randy to save her and drive away the feral pups. Man, he's helping the shit out of that zombie. I'm starting to understand why they banned this arc. Oh man. Oh man, I'm gonna lose so many subscribers over this. Or worse, gain more. 
Butts aren't supposed to fall off. I, hmm, okay. I need a, I need a break. I need a break. We're going to break. And I will be back.